Fifth grade, chapter 10, lesson 7, elapsed time. Unlock the problem. A computer company claims its laptop has a battery that lasts four hours. The laptop actually ran for 200 minutes before the battery ran out. Did the battery last four hours? So the first thing is they want to know how many minutes are in an hour. 60. 60. Convert 200 minutes to hours and minutes. Convert minutes into hours and minutes. So 200 minutes equals... Well, first of all, we're going to have to take, we have 200 divided by 60 is, so over here I write 200 divided by 60. Can I get rid of my zeros? Yep, because I have one here and I have one here. So technically I don't have to do anything with those, right? So 20 divided by 60 is, or 6 is 3 minus 18. 18, 20 minus 18 is 2. So 3 remainder 2, which would actually be what? 3 hours and 20 minutes. 3 hours and 20, 20 minutes, technically. Okay, so it's 3 hours and 20 minutes. So 3 remainder 20, so 3 hours and 20 minutes. Compare, right? Less than, greater than, or equal to. So, 3 hours, 20 minutes is? Less than, 4 hours. Since, 3 hours, 20 minutes is? Less than, 4 hours, the battery Or did not, right? Last, as long as the computer company claims. Try this, convert to mixed measures. So over here they give us the different units of time, of time and what each equals. Jill spent much of her summer away from home. She spent 10 days with her grandparents, 9 days with her cousins, and 22 days at camp. How many weeks and days was she away from home? So basically what they did was they said the step one to find the total number of days away. So they did 10 plus 9 plus 22 equals how many days? Forty-one. Forty-one. And then they said 41 divided by 7 is. So how many times does 7 go into 41, guys? Times 5. Times 5. Or 5 times. And then what's left over? Six. Six. So Jill was away from home for five weeks and six days. One way, use the number line to find elapsed time. Monica spent two and a half hours working on her computer. If she started working at 10.30 a.m., what time did Monica start stop working? So basically what they did was they jumped ahead the for one hour, what would one hour be? 11.30. 11.30. Then they jumped ahead another hour, right? So you go another full jump. And what would that be? 12.30. 12.30. So we already have two of our two and a half hours, right? So how much does her next jump need to be? Half. Half. So we'd only go half of the jump, right? So what time would it be? One o'clock. And one a.m. or p.m.? P.m. P.m. Another way, use the clock to find elapsed time. So Monica stopped working at, so basically they used the clock and they showed the first jump of an hour second jump of an hour, then the next half of an hour. So what time was that? Did we say? 1 p.m. Try this. Find a start time. Robert's soccer team needed to be off the soccer field by 12.15 p.m. Each game is at most one and three-fourths hours long. 
what time should the game begin to be sure that the team finishes on time? So step one, subtract the minutes first. So first of all, what they said was one fourth of an hour equals 15 minutes. So three fourths of an hour equals 45 minutes. And then of course, going back an hour is pretty easy, right? So subtract the minutes first. So they said that it started at what? What time? They were at 12.15, right? And then they went back an hour from here. So what time would that be? Eleven thirty. Then subtract the hour part. So they were at eleven thirty, and then they have to move the hour hand one full turn back. So what's one full turn back? Ten thirty. It's ten thirty. Ten thirty. What? A.M. 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 And we should have put AM right here too. So the game should begin at 10 30 AM. Share and show convert 400 or 540 minutes into hours. So, first of all, we need to say what our conversion is, right? So, one hour equals how many minutes? 60. Equals 60 minutes. So we would take what? 60 divided by Well, are we going from a smaller unit to a larger unit or a larger to a smaller unit? Smaller to a larger. So we're going to divide. divide. So 540 divided by 60 equals, can I get rid of my zeros? Yes. Yes. And then that equals what? Nine. Nine. So nine hours. Number two, we need to know our conversion. So eight days into hours. So one, one, one day equals 24 hours. 24 hours. So am I going to from a smaller to a larger or a larger to a smaller? So I'm going to so I'm going to take eight times four is thirty-two. I put my two, carry my three. Eight times two is sixteen. Plus three is ninety. So my answer is one hundred and ninety-two hours, right? Then I need to convert one hundred ten hours to days and hours. So what's my conversion? One day equals twenty-four hours. Okay, so one day equals twenty-four hours. So what am I gonna do? One hundred ten divided by divided by twenty four. So, in order to make this a little easier, twenty four can be rounded to about what? Twenty five. And about how many times does twenty five go into one hundred and ten? Four times. So mentally, I'm going to say four times four is. 16, mentally carry the 1, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is nine. So 96. So what is 110 minus 96? 14. 14. Do I have anything else to bring down? No. So this is 4 remainder, 14. So 110 hours equals 4 hours and Four days. Four days and fourteen hours. Fourteen hours. So find the end time. Number four. Start time was nine seventeen a.m. and then the last time was five hours and eighteen minutes. So what can we do first? Can we do our hours first? Yeah. Okay. So we have nine. Then we go to what, guys? Ten. There's one, two, three. Four, five, so we're going to end up at two something, right? Then how many minutes? 18. 18. So we're at. So we need to have 18 loops, right, guys? Well, not 18 loops, but we need to count tack marks, right? So one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's a seven, right? Right on the seven, guys. Should it be right on the seven? Yes or no? Yes. So basically, this colored part would be the minute part, right? So we said for sure 2 o'clock, and then that 7 is what? 35. So 2.35 a.m. or p.m.? P.m. And do not forget to put whether it's a.m. or p.m. because if you don't put that, is the time right? No, because it does matter when that is. Okay, so you're going to do on your own 5 through 11 with your group. Problem solving for 12 through 14, use the graph. Which internet services downloaded the podcast in less than four minutes? So down here, this is time in seconds, and over here is the internet service provider. So which one would have done less than four minutes? Can it only be one? No, because they asked which internet services, right? So it'll be at least two. So which one? would be less than four minutes. How much is four minutes, guys, in seconds? How many minutes are, or how many seconds are in a minute? 16. There's 60 seconds in one minute. So four minutes would equal what? would equal 240 seconds. So which ones were less than 240 seconds? So 200. And they went less than four minutes, right? Okay, it can't be exactly four minutes. So which ones? Group box and internet seat. Okay. Number 13, which service took the longest to download the podcast? So which one took the longest? Top hat. Top hat. And then it has another question with it. How much longer did it take? Then red box in minutes and in seconds. So we know that what? We know that 60 seconds equals one minute. one minute. So we need to find what top hat was. So what was top hat? 1,050 seconds. So we take 1,050 divided by 60, right? Okay, can I get rid of my zeros? Yes. So how many times does six go into five, or, or six go into ten? One. One, so minus six. Four, bring down my five. How many times does it go in there? Nine. Does it go in there nine times? No, it goes in there seven times. So then seven times six is? 42, and we have three left over. Do we have any more to bring down? No. Nope. Okay. 